blue walls. What the flip is poppin' tube nation? How are we doing? Are you about to torture us with cringy teenage Sarah content again? You are exactly correct. I am sitting in my childhood bedroom. I'm back in Oregon for my dad's 70th birthday extravaganza. He doesn't look a day over 40. He looks amazing for 70. Oh my God. I'm just happy to be home. Uh, but every time I do stay in my childhood bedroom and my mom informed me, I don't know why my mom never told me this. I have a shitty memory, so maybe she did tell me this, I just forgot. But my grandma was a writer. What? She like wrote novels like romance, fantasy. I don't do this anymore, but when I was in high school and middle school, whenever I liked a boy, fantasized about a boy, ugh, I would write stories, okay? Kind of like fan fiction, but it was always about a boy that I had a crush on. But apparently my grandma did that shit too on her little typewriter. That's what my mom told me, just for fun because she had a rich husband. <laughs> so she wasn't doing it to like sell these pieces or anything. She just loved creating scenarios. And I guess I got that gene because I did that shit all the time. I had a horrible self-esteem issues and I would write stories about my crushes instead of actually telling them how I felt. Cause that was too dangerous. They wouldn't like me back when who knows maybe they would have and if you guys want to go watch the first video I did about me reading one of my erotic novels about my high school Spanish Classmate he wasn't Spanish. We were in Spanish class He literally just sat next to me in Spanish class and I fell in love with him and wrote a novel Okay, that was where I was at. I'm not like that anymore no, I'm just kidding. I, I don't do that shit. On the flip side, there were some really mean girls that went to my school. And there were a few bitches in my friend group that were just so mean and annoying. I had a lot of animosity towards them, but I always kept it to myself. And they would always try to test me. I was too insecure to stand up for myself. I would just go home and cry about it and write about it. <laughs> so I found this one story and I howled. I howled. This story, it's like half real and then half made up. Oh god, this is so fucking cringy. I cannot believe that I'm even doing this. Before we get started in this, we do have a sponsorship, so take it away, Sarah in LA. Thank you, future Sarah. You look so adorable. Oh, my god. I love that shirt. Oh, where did you get that shirt? Thank you. It's crazy that you asked that. Today's video is sponsored by Gym Plus Coffee. Gym Plus Coffee is an Irish athleisure and lifestyle brand, and they're focused on building a community with their mission to make life richer. They are actively facilitating really fun events with an awesome crew, while also having top quality gear. Just so it's not all about the clothing, they also have a really fun vibe as a community as well. Whether you are working out, trying to build that butt, or just sitting on your butt on the couch, just lounging around, or if you're just on the move constantly, Gym Plus Coffee's clothing has you covered for every occasion. You know what? I'm in the mood to go to the gym. Okay, I'm gonna hop on that treadmill and sweat out all of my issues. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna wear to the gym. A few pieces that they sent me that I just like wearing no matter what I'm doing. So here's me showing you guys that. Okay, so these are the products that they sent me. I love this sports bra. It's so comfortable, it gives me great support. And I also love these pants. They're so stretchy, y'all. I'm not even kidding. They're so stretchy, but they're comfortable. Look at me. Oh, and they make my butt look great. I also got this beanie. I love plopping this on my head when my hair is terrifyingly greasy or if the top of my head just looks terrible that day. I love this cranberry color. I think it complements my skin tone and it kind of matches my band-aid. So then they also sent me this really cute cropped hoodie and this is so adorable. This is probably my favorite piece that they sent me. The quality is top tier 
and it zips up all the way. So when I'm cold and I'm running outside, my chin and my neck are not forming icicles, y'all. And it's so clutch whenever I go back home to Oregon during the winter months, because I love running outside in Oregon. It's so pretty. And I don't really wear pink that often, but I'm living for this color on me. I think it looks great. Gym Plus Coffee are planning for a sustainable future and are on track to having over 50% of their styles sustainably made by 2025, y'all. They have so many great stuff. So click the link in my description and use my code BASCA to get 20% off of your first order with Gym Plus Coffee. You will not regret it. Thank you so much, Gym Plus Coffee, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Thank you, past LA Sarah. Okay, I want everybody to sit back, relax, get a brewski, get a glass of wine if you don't drink, get a nice little soda, a little snack, I don't know. Do what you want. Just don't do drugs in front of me. Don't do the hard, you can smoke weed, but just don't do the hard shit. Hit the bomb, I don't know. God. We're at a sleepover, okay? Just do what feels right. Hee hee hee! Okay, class. Oh my god. Okay, class. <laughs> this story. Oh my god. This is a little story I like to call Sasha. <sighs> okay, this is how it starts Sasha. Bossy, selfish. Popular, beautiful, conceited, queen bee. Those are the six things that Sasha is. Okay, so here's the story. <laughs> Me, Natasha, grew up in a poor family of six. Me, my mom, and my dad, and three brothers. We couldn't afford anything at the time. So my father got a job as a lawyer. <laughs> what? Like what? Me and my family of six just grew up so poor, so my dad just woke up one day and was like, you know, hey, family, I figured it out. Hey guys, put the ramen down. I'm gonna be a lawyer tomorrow, so shit's gonna change and everything's gonna be great. I'm not gonna do all of what the 12 years of schooling it takes. This is how you know how like dumb I was at the time. <laughs> so my father got a job as a lawyer and we grew more comfortable in money. I am an eighth grader now, living a weird life. Okay, so I was in eighth grade while writing this. That's so funny. And all of those years, I was in Sasha's class. She was the one who constantly picked on my friends and me, or should I say, my friend and me. Cause I had no friends, apparently. Even though in eighth grade, I had like a lot of, okay. This is just me trying to like be a victim. My older brother Kyle is a junior in high school and I never get to see him. He is the only brother out of the three that are nice to me. <laughs> My oldest brother Luke graduated from high school two years ago so I never get to see him, only on holidays. Last but not least, Tucker. <sighs> He's a freshman. One year older than me. He picks on me just like Sasha does. I really think that they're related sometimes. He drives me insane. I dread the thought of going to school in the morning because I know what's gonna happen. Sasha and her friends picking on me and bragging about their stuff around me so I would become jealous. Oh my God, Chelsea. I got a new juicy bag yesterday. Don't you love it? Ah! so bad and the popular bitches at my school that I was friends with had them okay ugh every day I hear that constantly Sasha and her best friend Chelsea they are always together of course today is her birthday I fucking bold underline her birthday oh shit I think you know who I'm talking about Sasha her name makes me want to die. Okay, dead ass. And face the fact that every year, Brooke and me are not invited to her birthday party. <laughs> this is so like typical teen shit. Okay, I walked to the bus stop this morning when I saw yellow coming around the corner. I leap with happiness because it was raining outside. Okay, you leap 
you leap. I doubt that. Once I got in, I walked to the seat where I saw Brooke in and sat down next to her. Good morning, Brooke A. Hey. I said, Wow, you are wet. <laughs> oh, I was so innocent. Wow, you're wet. Wow. Wow, you are wet. <laughs> are you ready for the big day? Brooke said with her voice in a whisper, oh. Are you ready for the big day? Ugh, no, I hate her birthday. She invited everyone around us, but not us. Brooke nodded and turned around by the sound of Sasha sitting in the back of the bus in the middle of Chelsea and Lauren. Lauren is her other friend. Every time I type in her, like Sasha, it's in italics, like her. Like we hate her, drag her, okay. I can't wait for my birthday party. I am so happy that it's my birthday. She enunciated. <laughs> the whole bus gasped because they forgot it was her birthday. The whole bus sang her happy birthday immediately, and she was smiling. What? This bitch is not Beyonce. Well, I guess I did name her Sasha, like Sasha Fierce. No, Beyonce is not entitled like that. Beyonce is so down to earth and great. She would never do that. <laughs> the whole bus sang her happy birthday and she was smiling. Oh, please. She does not deserve a song, said Brooke. We turned around again and Sasha saw us looking at her and she got up from her seat and sat at the seat across from ours, turned to face us and said, Hey, I saw you looking at me. Well, everyone was looking at me. <laughs> but I knew that look. You totally want to come to my birthday party. So I'll tell you girls what. <laughs> You're not invited. <laughs> that was in all caps. You're not invited. She snickered. <laughs> snickered. She snickered and turned around and skipped to the back while the whole bus was laughing. Why are we so not invited to anything? Why, why aren't we noticed? I asked. Don't know, but she's just getting started sabotaging us. Brooke said with a frown. Once we got to school, we noticed balloons everywhere and a banner on the school that said happy birthday, Sasha. What the fuck? The school faculty. The school faculty put balloons everywhere around the school and made a banner on the goddamn school. Happy birthday, so like only for her. When there's probably like 60 other kids in that school whose birthday is today, like what? I'm really giving Sasha a lot of power in my mind while writing this. First class, biology. I get an A plus on my paper. That's not true. I sucked at biology. Was on academic probation because I kept failing my biology classes. But that's why I wrote this story, because it's fantasy. I got an A plus on my paper. You wish. Okay. I was so happy. <laughs> Sasha got a C minus. Ha ha. Okay, maybe I'm Sasha. Do I just hate myself? Is this just a reflection on like how I really felt about myself at the time? P.E. was interesting. In volleyball, she served it at my head. So I served it at her head. And I was the one who got in trouble. At lunch, she bumped into me and made me fall down with my lunch tray. My lunch flying everywhere. And then my glasses came off. I was search, oh my god, this is so just every teen movie ever. I was searching the ground trying to find them until Sasha made it worse by stepping on them then snickering. Brooke helped me and I called my mom. She picked me up and we went to the eye doctor to get different glasses. I never told my mom Sasha picked on me. When we were on our way back to school, my mom asked, So Natasha, 
How did you break your glasses? I broke a sweat and stutter. Um, I am, um, uh, I, 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 Long story short, I tripped and then Faye fell off and then I accidentally stepped on them. It's hard lying to my mother. It hurts me, but my mom knows when I'm lying because I'm a bad liar. Sweetie, it's okay to tell me the truth. I'm your mom. You can talk to me about anything. You don't have to lie. My mom ran right through my ass. Well, duh, I'm like stuttering. I'm having a stroke while literally just telling my mom just a simple thing that happened to me at school. Just don't get mad, all right? Sasha, she pushed me. I fell. My classes went flying. I tried to look for them and then next thing you know, she just Stepped on them, okay? End of story. <laughs> it's fine. On purpose, she broke them? My mom asked. Um, yeah. Well, that's very rude. How long has she been picking on you? Has she always been picking on you? Uh, yeah, mom, but it, it's fine. No, it is not fine. You hear me? I am very upset with her right now. Those glasses were expensive. She had a good point. How could I not be upset? Well, I guess deep down, I was upset. Yeah, I know, she bullies me a lot, but I stand up for myself. Not bold underline. I literally wrote that in. Not, not. I'm too afraid to stand up to Sasha. She's too scary. She's scary. I get it. And then this is my mom. Well, that's good. I hope that you stay strong and I hope she doesn't bother you anymore or I will have to speak to the principal and her mother. She said sternly. When I got to school again, I went to the office to get a slip, then went to math. After school, Brooke and me went to, Brooke and I, went to my house. Sasha was my neighbor. Ugh, she lived right across from my house. Brooke and me looked out the window into her bedroom window. That's very creepy, very creepy. Very creepy, Sarah, very creepy. We saw Sasha and Chelsea with two other boys. We couldn't tell who they were, but we knew who the boys were. What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, that makes no sense. We couldn't tell who they were, but we knew they were boys. Okay. Well, what if they weren't? What if they did not identify as that? Oh, great. They were playing, <laughs> they were playing spin the bottle. How do you fucking see from that far away? How can you see in her room from across the street that they're playing spin the bottle unless you had binoculars like a fucking weirdo? Y'all are so creepy. Brooke and me, Brooke and I, never played spin the bottle or seven minutes in heaven or any of those boy girl games. Uh, in fact, we have never even been to a boy girl party. Side. <laughs> we looked at a boy girl party from across the street. We're like, <sighs> I ate dinner and then went to bed. Tomorrow was another morning of. Y'all, the way I type this, I'm gonna put on the screen. Sasha. Sasha, the biggest brat. Oh my god, I 
lived for the drama. I lived. Butterflies were flying all around my stomach as I woke up the next morning. Natasha, don't hollow the freaking cereal. Tucker said, grabbing the cereal out of my hands while I was pouring it. Wow, dude, what the fuck? Tucker, wow, hang on, I'm almost done, I shouted at him. He rolled his eyes. David is gonna be here in 10 minutes to drive me to school. Tucker said, David was my brother's super cute friend. The sound of David's name gave me goosebumps. David. <gasps> David. David. He doesn't think I'm cute, though. But I think he is. Whenever he comes over to my house, I can't stop smiling at him. I mean, I think sometimes he gets a little scared. Yeah, that's weird. Going over to your homie's house and their sibling is just like... And doesn't say one word ever, just... That would be a little... Terrifying. I agree with myself here. I go, let me describe him. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is all, this is a list format. Bold, italic. Tall, muscular, tan, brown, flippy hair. Nice, funny, hot. Y'all, nothing about him being a good person, him having a genuine heart, him being selfless, caring about animals, and being nice to my parents whenever he comes over. Tall, tan, brown, flippy hair. And then I say, that's pretty much David. Full package. Girl, I know in my heart I could never get a guy like him. He's just too... perfect. Besides, I think he already has a girlfriend. Ding dong. Ding dong! The doorbell rang. The butterflies in my stomach multiplied. <laughs> I ran to open the door. I blushed as soon as I saw David's face. He smiled and said, Hey Natasha, is Tucker ready? Um... Say something, say something. Yeah! He's in the kitchen. I was running a little late, so I ran out the door and ran to the bus stop. I barely made it! I hopped in, sat right next to Brooke. Hello, Brooke! <laughs> Who says that? Hello, Brooke! Hello, Brooke. Hello, best friend. No. You go, hey. You don't even have to say their name. Just, what's up? Sit down. Or just, hey. Hello, Brooke! Howdy, howdy, Brooke. Is that a C right there? Is that C taken? Greetings, Brooke. Hola, Brooke. <laughs> well, looks like you had a good morning. What special thing happened to you? Brooke asked. I saw David today. For like 0.5 seconds, I didn't say that, but what? He looked so cute. I said with a bright smile. She laughed and she turned around to the sound of Sasha. I got the cutest bathing suit for my pool party and dance party. You girls wanna come over a few hours early and help me set up for my party tonight? I'm just so excited. Oh, of, oh, of course, course, Sasha, course, Sasha. The girls said simultaneously. Fab. Sasha said back, ew, fab. Ugh. Fab. Fab. Like who? Oh my God, I hate this. Ugh, why, why? Once we got to school, Sasha pushed everyone out of the way so she could get out of the bus first. What a bitch. 
She knocked Brooke down to the ground and scraped her. She knocked Brooke down out of the bus. That is a suspension. You can't do that. The bus driver definitely saw that. She just pushed her out of the bus. What? Friday afternoons were awkward. In the PE locker room, Sasha changes in front of all of the girls to make everybody feel bad about their bodies. Bitch, it's a locker room. Everybody has to change. Like, everybody has to get naked. Like, she's not doing that to make yeah, she just, she's just gotta put her P.E. clothes on, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? You're all literally doing the same thing. I don't get it. The insecurity of the protagonist is killing me. But she also did just fuck her friend up by assaulting her getting off of the bus, so. Sasha makes fun of Vanessa because of her gray hoodie. Sa <laughs> Sasha is just a... Uh... Girl dog. Parentheses. Hope you know what I mean. That was what I was afraid to cuss. Eee. Christian school trauma. I said girl dog, bitch. Like, I said girl dog. What? I accidentally bumped into her and she said, Get out of my way, loser. See what I mean? Girl dog. Oh my god, girl dog! Let's just start saying that instead of bitch. Let's just go, hey girl dog. You fucking girl dog! A girl dog! It's so funny. Hey cutie, you wanna hang out later today? Asked Sasha. Ugh, Sasha. What does the word no mean to you? Responded Jared. Who's Jared? Who's Jared? Okay, who's Jared? Give me Jared. We love Jared. Here's my inner, inner monologue. She's so desperate. It's annoying. Friday evening, nightmares. Wanna know why? Here's the story. This is like euphoria, what the fuck? This is giving me euphoria. The way that I'm writing this, like. I'm waiting outside for my mom to pick me up. I see Sasha. She walks over to me and says, Look, crybaby, don't pout all the time, okay? Just because you didn't get invited. I know you want to be like me. Well, <laughs> everybody wants to be like me. But that's not the point. I don't invite you to any of my parties. So what the heck is- <laughs> What the heck? <gasps> so what the heck is the big deal about this one? She asked. Um. I gotta go, my, my mom's here. I said, thanking God my mom showed up at that awkward moment. She rolled her eyes and walked away to Lauren. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't that kind of like a euphoria? Like, come on now, come on now, eighth grade Sarah. You know the vibes. That night, I'm in bed and I heard something. Something coming from outside. I was scared, but I got up and I leaped to the window. Leaped. And I leaped. You leaped? You know those like kicks? Those like jump kicks? I got up and leaped to my window. <laughs> leaped. And covered myself behind the curtain. I sighed. They were in black masks, toilet papering my entire house. I felt angry. I tried sleeping, but the noise was loud. I eventually fell asleep. Next morning, I was anxious to see the creation they made in my front yard. I ran outside. My mouth dropped. <laughs> Sorry. My house was covered in white. 
The door was trapped with toilet paper. I couldn't even get out. I got scissors and cut through the mess. Finally, I got out of that death trap. I was in the middle of the street to get a good view of the overly insane toilet papered house. And then I noticed something. On the top of my door, there was something written in chalk. It looked like this. And bitch, I made a Microsoft Word. I did a, I'll, I'll insert a picture. The loser sign. It made me feel like crap because I knew who did it. Sasha, Chelsea, Lauren, and two boys. I ran in my house, locked my door, and started crying. Why would Sasha always try to ruin my life all the time? And I'm really sick of it, to be honest. I called Brooke. She picked up the phone and she was really worried by the sound of my voice. We were talking about Sasha and how much of a female dog she is. <laughs> female dog is even better, honestly. You fucking female dog! That's funnier, female dog. Sunday, me and my friend Michael, in parentheses, doesn't go to my school anymore. What's the tea with Michael? Went to church at 7 a.m. What the fuck? Who goes to church at 7 a.m.? I'm sorry. That sounds like hell. Not church. 7 a.m.? Eight's pushing it. Nine is like, all right. Is there a 7 a.m. church service anywhere ever? That seems insane. Who would. Okay. Sunday was fun. I was trying to forget about the tragic Saturday morning. Bitch, you got your house TP'd, wake up. Well, bitches do that. I wanted my house to be TP'd. I was so mad every weekend when my house was not TP'd. It was thrilling and it was fun. Our house would get TP'd, but it was never from people from my grade. It was always my sister's guy friends, the popular guys. They would TP our house because my sister lived there. My sister would be like, oh my God, they're so annoying. And I was so fascinated, it was so cool, was so crazy. Like these boys are TPing the house. Like, oh my God, I can't wait till boys TP the house for me. And then once I hit middle school, no. Weenies. Weenies. None of the people in my grade did that shit. It was all my sister's grade. I would always just peep outside my window, wanting my house to get TP'd. Me and my friends, we tried it. When we were in seventh grade, we like TP'd this one guy, Nick's house. His mom called the cops on us. Nick's mom found out it was us and then we all got grounded. What the fuck, man? Like back then, no one had security systems, so people got away with that shit during my sister's era. But then once I hit middle school, God, it made me so mad. So while I'm talking about this, I'm fantasizing about getting TP'd like that ever happened to me personally. Next morning, I put on some clothes and before school, I checked my email. Anything new? Got some emails from my friend Megan. She's my key pal. I got some emails from Brooke as we talk about what girls talk about. Butt plugs. And last but not least, I got an email from... Sasha. Bitch, I put that shit in huge, bold letters, bitch. Are we kidding me? The drama. The drama. Sasha. I gave her so much power. What time is it? Okay, I need to stop recording now because my dad just got home and we're gonna watch The Bachelor. It's already eight o'clock. No, it's nine o'clock. So I know he's really tired and he really wants to watch The Bachelor with me and my mom. So I'm gonna cut it here, watch The Bachelor, and then I'm gonna finish the rest of the story tomorrow. So bye. 
This is where it gets juicy, bitch. So just keep on watching. This is where it gets juicy. Just, you have to finish it. Okay, bye. <laughs>